the past week, I've been using a laptop that I couldn't talk about. I was under embargo. And it's a thin and light laptop with a great array of ports, a fabulous 4K display, and it's so thin and light, you barely notice it in your backpack. I'm talking about the Vio SX14, and today Vio took the wraps off of it and made it available to the public. But I've been using it for the past week and I've been putting it through its paces, and boy, am I glad I did. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the all new Vio SX14 for early 2020. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. And make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post all the latest updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Vio. I'm not being sponsored by Vio. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. This review unit is on loan from Vio, and once this review is done, I am sending it back. The Vio SX14 comes in four colors. You got a beautiful red edition, an all black edition, brown, and of course silver is what I have here today. So this is a pretty nice selection in terms of colors. It comes in two variants, the SX12, which is a 12.5 inch version, and of course the SX14, which is the 14 inch version we have here today. The only difference between the two is the screen size. All the other specs are the same. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now you get your extension cord, a 45 watt, very compact power adapter with an extra USB port to charge peripherals such as your smartphone. I like that. And of course you get the unit itself. And every time I hold one of these Vio laptops in my hands, it blows my mind how incredibly thin and light this is. 2.34 pounds to be exact. That's incredible. Now the port selection is excellent on the Vio SX14. Let's start off on the left side where you get your power port, a Noble lock port, two USB-A 3.0 ports, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Moving over to the right side, a full-size SD card reader, a USB-A 3.1, a USB-C 3.1, full-size HDMI, RJ45, and finally a VGA port. Now, as far as user upgradability is concerned, you can do it. It's actually pretty easy, although a little bit different than other laptops. You need to remove all the Phillips head screws. There's quite a number of them. Once you do that, you're going to lift the keyboard up and away, but be careful. Don't rip the ribbon cable attached to the monitor, so be very careful. Now, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard, so you won't be able to upgrade that, but you can upgrade the SSD and you can upgrade the Wi-Fi card if you so choose. There's also a space for the optional LTE, which is currently only available to units in Japan, so keep that in mind. And speaking of the included SSD, you get some excellent reads and writes, as you can see from these results. Now, one of the stars of the show has to be its 14-inch, non-touch, anti-glare matte display. It's a 14-inch display, so it's really good in terms of screen real estate. High resolution, 3840 by 2160. It also gets very bright at 365 nits, making this a good choice for both indoor and outdoor use. And here's how it compares to some of its competition, certainly holding its own in that category. Now, as far as the color gamut is concerned, it covers it really well, 98% sRGB, 77% Adobe RGB, making this a really good choice for creative professionals that do Photoshop and, of course, video editing. They also get good contrast, good black levels, and good white points. And it's got some pretty slim bezels, especially for business-focused laptops. It looks pretty modern as well. The Vio SX14 has a 35 watt hour battery, which is certainly on the small side for a thin and light laptop, but because this is so incredibly thin and so light, they had to go with a small battery. And of course, with a high resolution 4K display, battery life will take a hit, getting only five hours and five minutes on my continuous web surfing test. And to charge this laptop with the included 45 watt power adapter took under three hours, which is not the greatest in this category, to be honest. Now on the top bezel, they put an infrared camera, which means it's Windows Hello compatible. Let's check it out. So this is the front-facing camera on the all-new Vio SX14. 
uh, here for early 2020, running the Intel Comet Lake processor. For those that don't know, it's a 10th generation, six core processor, and I'm really impressed with this very so far. Thin and light, extremely thin and light, and pretty good in terms of performance. Now, I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. As far as the camera is concerned, 1080p, 30 frames per second, actually pretty good. I'm happy that they did go with a 1080p camera rather than what we've been seeing for the most part, 720p cameras uh, out of the laptops in this category. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. And there's also a fingerprint scanner located below the cursor keys on the right side. Great for Windows Hello login as well. Now, I love the fact that when you lift the lid, it gives you a raised typing angle, making it pretty comfortable to type for long periods of time. Now, speaking of the keyboard, I like the key travel at 1.2 millimeters. I thought it was very good. Good tactile feedback, good spacing. I'm a big fan of the keyboard. It's also a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And it's an anti-spill keyboard. You gotta love it. And it has a precision touchpad, which I like to see, although it is on the small side, it was responsive, two-finger scrolling was buttery smooth, all the gestures worked as advertised. Now, when it comes to performance, this is the first time I got a chance to look at Intel's Comet Lake, which is a six-core processor. It's the Core i7-10710U, and I thought it was okay. Now, the built-in graphics are nothing special. They're not Intel Iris Plus graphics, so keep that in mind. Although, you can play certain games if you lower the settings. If you play the older games, it'll definitely be more playable frame rates. But again, AAA titles that are modern are not really meant for this laptop. There is no external GPU option, as there is no Thunderbolt 3 port on this. But things such as Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, doing multimedia on this, consuming media such as Netflix, YouTube, all work great with that Comet Lake processor and pair that with that 4K UHD display. And I like the fact they give you the VIO control center and what it allows you to do is set the kind of performance you want, whether it be for battery saving, whether it be to get maximum performance, whether you're in quiet mode or whether you'd like the fans to keep it cool. I like the control it gives the user. Not every OEM does that. And speaking of thermals, I thought they did a good job in that department. That one fan, the vents on it, certainly help with cooling. Now you will notice the fan when it does kick in under heavy load and it's not too loud. Although again, you can control it in the control center. And I think the biggest weak point of the XS14 is, of course, the speakers. They're kind of teeny. It does get loud, but it does lack bass. So I'm not really that crazy about the speakers, to be honest. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the all-new Vio SX14 here for early 2020? And the answer is an absolute yes. I can't believe how thin and light this laptop is. It's incredible in terms of engineering. I like the fact that it comes with a bright, sharp UHD display option. It's a matte display, so you don't get that unnecessary glare or reflections. I love its excellent array of ports, all the legacy ports that it has. I like the good thermals that you get with it. And I really like that excellent keyboard that gives you the raised typing angle. And I love the fact that it's a spill-proof keyboard. I also like the fact that the SSD and Wi-Fi are user upgradable. Now, the a couple of negatives here are is that there's no Thunderbolt 3 port, so that might be a negative for some, and that subpar battery life for the 4K model may hold you back. But really, there are no deal breakers as far as I'm concerned. This is a definite buy, and I'm going to give it a score of 90%, making the Vio SX14 here for early 2020 worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the all-new Vio SX14? I liked it last year. I like it even more this year. I think the display is even better. They sent me the 4K display, really crisp, really bright, covers the color gamut. Everything seems to pop. Love the fact that it's a matte display so you don't get that unnecessary glare or reflections. It's absolutely gorgeous. I also like the great array of ports that this has. It even has some legacy ports that we don't normally see. And I think that's pretty amazing in such a thin and incredibly light laptop. But of course, there is a price to pay for having such a high resolution 
4K display, and that of course is battery life. It takes a hit on this, but if you're thinking of battery life, check out the Full HD version. It'll get two to three hours more. Remember, this has a pretty small battery in it, and that's to be expected, of course, in such a thin and incredibly light laptop. What do you think of the Vio SX14? I think Vio's onto something here. I think they've continued a really good tradition that Sony started when it launched the Vio line years ago, and I think they've managed to keep the style and feel of that Sony Vio laptops from years past, but I liked what they're doing as far as keeping those legacy ports with an eye towards the future. I like its improved display and overall great build quality. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. So what do you think about this? Oh boy. <laughs> that wasn't planned. Four, okay. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. So what do you think about this bad boy? The, oh, what am I trying to do?